Hi. Hello. This is the most beautiful place I've ever been in. Well, thank you very much for saying that. I'm Ben. I'm the gardener. Iris. Iris, that's a nice name. Thank you for the compliment, <laughs> mm. but I could never match what you've accomplished here. What brings you by? I don't think I've seen you here before, have I? Well, it's my first visit. Oh. I promise you it won't be my last. Mm. Today is my boyfriend's birthday, so I want to buy him some beautiful flowers. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, smile, smile. Okay, don't smile then. All righty. Okay, why don't you just sit down on uh, on her lap? Dave? That'd be... You on this place? Yes, and much more. Can I show you around? This is just the uh, retail end. This is a friend of mine. Have you ever seen her before? Yeah, yeah, she... She was in last week. I remember because she was particularly lovely. She reminded me of an iris. Excuse me. It's funny, that's her name. Oh. I said she reminded me of an iris. All my flowers remind me of beautiful women. did all of this? Yes. Everything. It's breathtaking. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is my life's work. <laughs> wow. Smell. I call this one Women in Flame. Amazing. That's Goddess of the Sun. It's amazing. And this Lady of the Ocean. Um, can I just ask you one thing? Sure. What was your first reaction coming in here? What do you mean? Your feelings. What were your feelings? Very peaceful. Very peaceful. <laughs> you know, I'm glad that you understand the meaning of my work. I think we can be friends. <laughs> I'd like that. Well, I hope you find your friend soon. I'm sure she'll be all right. Did you plant this one? Yes, yes. Yeah. That's going to grow into the most beautiful flower in my whole garden. What kind is it? That's an iris. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you mean? You know damn well what I mean. No, I don't. You mutilated the flower! I'm sorry. Oh, you're a bit late for sorry, isn't it? Oh, I'm very sorry. It's a living thing. It's alive. Yeah, I know that. They feel pain, real pain. A flower? Yes, a flower. It's even more sensitive than most human beings. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. All right. That's all right. Most people don't know that. I'm glad you told me. Yes, well, we won't have this problem again, will we?
Christine Muni, 22, Susie Johnson, 24, Amy Jones is 19. Yeah, all right, I get the picture. Um, they're, they're all young. Yeah, but they're all young and beautiful. Yeah, so they're beautiful. We've got five women who are missing from the same general area in the last two years. And what is this general area? The Garden of Eden. That's right. This is where it all begins. Not very easy to find. Is that why you're still alone? No. In fact, I've found someone. Oh, that's great. Are you with her now? Yeah. Well, can I meet her? I don't think she'd like that. Why? Does she know about our past? No. She's beautifully naive and pure. And I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to insult you. Well, I'm starting a fast today. Are you ill? No, 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 no. I, I just want to rid my body of worldly, secular food. <laughs> Is this a religion or a belief? Yes, yes. You see, I have been chosen by God to create something spiritually pure and clean. Therefore, I myself have to be spiritually pure and clean. Hmm? You're talking about your flowers. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy, was she one of your conquests? What is the point of it? What's, What's the, the point, point, Kelly? You're expecting to turn into a raving lunatic because you confronted me with that slut? Did 
we enjoy our little nap? <laughs> you crazy son of a bitch. That's right, she was. Yeah, so like all women. Crazy? Depends on who you have to answer to. <laughs> and what do you call this? <laughs> Come on. Don't be so harsh. From the very beginning, you were never a match for me. But we do take some comfort from the fact that I'm going to cleanse you and be your creator. Your death will be used to create something much more pure and beautiful. And in return, you will be elevated to a higher plane. Do me a favor. Get your fucking hands off of me. Is that the way you look at women, you sick fuck? You must please understand that I've been chosen by God to create a newborn woman. Oh, by having you put your hands, your grubby hands on them? No. Through my plants and through my flowers, I'm going to regrow women purer than they were before. Oh, God. Poor Worry about Iris. I have given her a new life and a new spirit. <laughs> I had to preserve her beauty. I didn't want her rotting away. For oft, when on my couch I lie, in vacant or in pensive mood, they flash upon that inward eye, which is the bliss of solitude. And then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodil. You little dick bastard. What, you couldn't get it on with a live girl? Ah, I trust you to see it that way. The whole world is diseased. Women are cheap. God understands. Quit blaming God. God has nothing to do with this. You crazy bastard. Iris joined the other beautiful women who became one with their creator. I'm sorry, Iris. I'm so sorry. Well, well there's nothing to be sorry about. I mean, it was her awakening. She became a soul at one with the morning dew. The cycle is complete. I became one with every woman. They all became an integral part of me and threw me into the soil and into the flower. You killed an angel. She was an angel. The angels are in heaven. Her lasting beauty is down here on earth. <laughs> You're so wrong. Her lasting beauty was in the hearts and the minds of the people who knew her. Just like all the other women. You don't own them. You'll never own them. I don't think you understand. <laughs> it's time for your rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Kelly, there's only one way out. And that's through me, sweet Kelly. Where are we? Where do you think we are? Underneath my guard. Kelly! I hope you like it. It was built by the previous owner. A bomb shelter. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>